guys, welcome back to Sounds a great day. Today we are finally gonna get the wheels mounted on the Ford Bronco. I've been waiting for these wheels for about two and a half months now and they finally arrived. So I'm about to load these up and take them over to the tire shop to get them mounted. Now, these wheels that I went with, I bought them before for my Ford Raptor that I had before and had gotten really great compliments. I love the way they looked on the Ford Raptor and I'm sure I'm gonna love the way these look on the Bronco. I don't think anyone really has these out on a Bronco yet. I've seen maybe one and that was like they're basically their test vehicle that we're using to get these wheel specs for them and they look great and here are some of the specs of the wheels so the the rr7h the hybrid b log it's a 70 by eight and a half negative 12 offset uh and the map, map bronze look now with the negative 12 offset it should make the wheel and tire stick out a little bit past the fender flare if not even with it maybe a little bit more i am going to use the same tires that I came with the Bronco for now because I haven't lifted it yet and I do want to lift it eventually and then I'll put maybe 37s maybe a different tire more aggressive looking tire but a lot of these I don't I don't mind these tires so for now I'm gonna go ahead and mount these tires on these wheels that you'll see right here yes and these are gonna look so good on the Bronco. I can't wait to get these mounted. So yeah guys, these are a functional B-Log wheel. And they don't come with any B-Log rings, okay? So they do make two different kinds. So they make a B-Log ring that goes on here. They have it in two different colors. So you can do a uh, basically powder coated black or a, a, a raw unfinished like aluminum look. And you can go with a, a little bit cheaper protective ring that basically just bolts to here and protects the lip of the wheel to kind of help the wheel get in from being damaged if you're going like off-roading or rock crawling and stuff like that or like light, mild off-roading uh, but if you do want a functional b-lock they do sell them and the rings themselves are not cheap uh, I think the raw and finished look is about hundred and ninety dollars and then the powder color uh, ring is I think a little over two hundred dollars so yeah they are not cheap get if, if you can go ahead and get a functional uh, B lock wheel, you might as well get the B lock ring. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the black so it's got black on the copper, and then that way it's got black with the white. So I think that'll uh, look pretty good on the Bronco. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get these wheels in the vehicle and get ready to head over there. Pulling into tires by design. You got the badass job of look coming here. So glad I went with these wheels. They look really, really nice. I love the finish on the wheels. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how they look on the car from the side. As you can tell, they do stick out a little bit more past the uh, fender there. Like unlike before, they were sucked in uh, even with the inside of the fender here of the flare. But now they have a little bit more of a poke, which is fine. That's kind of what I was going for. I wanted a bit more of a wider uh, stance on the Bronco. And look good. I do want to mention. I know normally you had to take off this ring to get new tires put on, but this time they were having a hard issue trying to get the, the tires off, and they didn't want to mess up the tire. So we went ahead and just took off the uh, 
the ring here and these are a Torx 45 if you're curious the size the size and they have a quite a bit of Loctite so you want to be careful not to strip this out you don't want to use a correct one make sure you apply some pressure down before you go ahead to um, remove these because like I said these are held in by some Loctite so they are in there pretty good uh, you want to make sure you want to strip that bolt out you're going to be in a world of pain yeah if you're curious i'll put a link down below for these uh we also the uh, website you want to go check out their website i am going to go ahead and order the um the beadlock ring as well maybe i'll do a little follow-up video on that and i want to go ahead and sell those and see what you guys think about that so yeah that does it for today's video if you're uh if you found this video helpful please like please subscribe like i said go check out my other videos on the bronco that i've done so far and don't forget to like and subscribe for future content and we'll see you guys on the next one